it's Lily. Well, this is finally my first video. Yay! And I asked a lot of people on Instagram which video should I do. And a lot of people asked me fall and outfits of the days. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for actually responding and liking and supporting what I do and want to watch me. So thank you so much. And my Instagram name is Makeup by Lily, M A K E U P B Y L I L Y. So follow me there. And um, I just basically decided to go for the fall lipsticks. Um, I love fall. Fall is probably one of my favorite seasons. And I really wanted to share with you guys my favorite fall lipsticks. It's more on the higher end, and you can also find it on your local drugstore. So, I don't want to make this video too long and ramble and ramble and ramble. Um, so, I'm going to go straight into that. So, I'm going to start off with the nudes, because you can't go wrong with a nude lipstick in the fall. Not everyone thinks just because it's the fall, you have to wear a dark lip or a red lip or something that's dark. And that's totally not true. Um, I love nude lipstick. So my first one is actually from a drugstore. It's a Revlon. And it's called Soft Nude. Love this color. It's like the perfect nude. You can actually... I'll swatch it for you guys. And I'll post pictures either at the end of this video or on my Instagram with actual true color and true pictures of actually what they look like. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is the nude. I'll show better pictures on my Instagram or at the end of this video, like I said. So nude, soft nude is the perfect, one of my favorites. And the, my all-time favorite nude is Viva Glam Gaga 2. Gaga, this is probably my favorite nude. You can also pair it with Oak Lip Liner by MAC, and it looks actually perfect. Love it. So, this is the Gaga. Love that color. My second one is probably everyone knows this color and probably the best red you can ever get. Um, Ruby Woo. Love. This is probably the number one fall lipstick in red you can ever get. It's amazing. It's matte, so it stays on forever. You can eat, drink, anything. You can pair it with Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. Um, a lot of people, and it's been in trend a lot, with the gradient effect or the darker lips or the darker shade on the outside and lip liner. So you can actually line your lips with Night Moth by MAC and pair it with Ruby Woo and it's the best. I swear by this lipstick. Awesome. Let me swatch it for you. Right there. Awesome. And another red. So it's probably from the Rouge collection. I forgot it's number 35. And I love this lipstick. I got it for Christmas, like I said. And it's amazing it's more like a satiny finish um it gives it like a gloss finish on top instead of pairing it with a lip gloss so you can actually wear it alone with a red lip liner underneath for it won't have to bleed you know the whole name so i love this lipstick it's one of my favorites as well so here's the swatch so it's more of more of a berry red and it has like a shine finish so it's not a matte one but it stays on forever so 
Love this. And one of my other favorite lipsticks, it's from the Hey Sailor collection. This is probably the most requested lip that everyone has asked me on Instagram. What color red are you wearing? Oh my god. Probably all of my pictures, the red that I'm wearing is this color. It's called C'est La Vie. It's like an orangey red. It's like an infrared. So I actually love this color. Um, one of my favorites, like I said on Instagram. Everyone asks me this color and I adore this color to death. Best combination between red and orange. Perfect. There. Love it. And another Revlon one that I really, really love that you can pair it with magenta lip liner. Perfect. It's called Fuchsia. So it's like a really true hot pink. Love it. And it reminds me a lot of the color of my hair. I used to have fuchsia hair on the bottom of my hair. And, and another one that's not a lipstick um, that I actually really love and that I'm obsessing over. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, OCC. If you don't know, this is a lip tar. It's not a lipstick, it's not a lip gloss. Ladies, please, attention, attention. <laughs> this is not a lipstick, this is not a lip gloss. And no, it's not tar. <laughs> so um, you literally need the most smallest amount to put on your whole lips. The color of this one is vintage. It's like a brown, mauve type of color. I'll swatch it for you. But on, it's like a burgundy-ish type of color. And it reminds me of Diva by MAC. Uh, so, that's the color right there on the bottom. Love it. So, the last three, which are my die hard favorites and if I ever lose these I will completely die my first die hard favorite <laughs> it's from the real sexy collection you cannot get it anymore I'm so sorry that I'm showing you this but probably everyone knows this lipstick um, heroin the real sexy collection is everyone that knows me news I love Purple. Purple lipstick. Ah. This is the best purple lipstick ever. It's a matte finish, of course. This is by far my favorite, probably top two lipsticks in the whole entire world of my collection. Um, I don't want to use it just because I don't want to waste it. So... And it's almost down. It's like halfway. And I'll swatch it for you. It's right there. So, if you have this, God bless you. You have the best lipstick in the world. And these two lipsticks are... Marilyn Monroe and again if you know me personally hello I love adore idolize Marilyn Monroe the collection pre-ordered um, online it came out the 26th I believe the 27th and the unveiling was the 25th and I actually went to the unveiling and picked up everything almost literally everything I have the other lipsticks but these are my two 
favorite, 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 and I actually am wearing one today, and it's called Deeply Adored. For you. Right there, the last one. It's like a, um, a dark maroon type of color, wine color. Love the color, love the packaging. To be honest, if I had to pick two lipsticks, it would be these two. So, on to the second one. It's called, it's a matte as well, and it's called Scarlet Ibis or Ibis one of those two and look at this like seriously why would you even say no to this this is the bomb like the bomb dot com <laughs> it's a orange it's an orange lipstick but it has more of like a red undertone. It reminds me a lot of Sail V, but Sail V is a satin. And Scarlet Ibis is a matte. So this one's it. It's right here. And it's very similar. This one and this one. They're very, very similar. So again, I rant and rave about these lipsticks. They're amazing. These are my fall favorites, and I hope you guys like it. Hope I helped you with any kind of information. Again, I will have pictures either at the end of this video or on my Instagram. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos, like this video, subscribe. See you guys later.